Hello friends. In our previous video, we created a hex nut so that we can standardize the whole process. In this video, I am going to create a design table and make everything uh, so that uh, uh, we can use the data from a data sheet to create additional parts. Okay. So I will go to insert. tables and design table okay select auto create click ok now which dimensions do we need okay i need across flat the height and the pitch okay also the dial these are the four basic things we need here uh, nothing else we need if you ask me I don't need anything else here everything else is driven I will click OK let's rename this default to M8 okay you can see the design table generated the following configuration M8 so if I go to configuration tab here configuration manager you can see that there is a M8 configuration here which is the default configuration. Now I have to create the additional parts here. As you can see that uh, this is the data here. So I will start with M2 here. Okay. For M2, pitch is 0.4, across flat is 4, and 1.6 is the hex nut height. Okay. So uh, open this tables, right click this design table, add a table in new window. So it will open Excel sheet. Click OK. OK. Now I will write down M2, M4, M6, M8 we have already done. So M10, OK, uh, M12 also. So I'm going to use these sizes. Okay. Now I will note down the value from here. Okay. For M2, the die is going to be standard here for everyone. Okay. For example, M2 will have a die of 4, 2, M4 will have 4, 6, 10, and 12. Now pitch. Pitch is 0.4 for uh, okay M2 across flat is 4 and uh, 1.6 mm is the height okay let's uh, cross check it okay now let's move on to 4 okay for 4 mm the uh, pitch is 0.7 across flat is 7 height is 3.2 okay for 6 the pitch is 1 mm uh, the F across flat is 10 uh, height is 5 mm okay Now for M10, for M10 across flat will be 16, height will be 8 and the pitch will be 1.5. For M12, the pitch will be 1.75, the across flat will be 18 and height will be 10. Okay. Oh, you might be wondering where did I, uh, which data I selected. Okay. For M, let me show you. Uh, I have not selected this DIN and GIS. I have selected this ISO data here. Okay, only ISO. Uh, this chorus pitch and this height for hex nut. Okay, for uh, uh, two size, for example, let me show you. The pitch is 0.4, the across flat is 4, and the height is 1.6 mm. Okay, 
so uh, I have basically created this sheet and I will click close now the design table generated the following configurations m2 m4 m6 m10 m and m12 m8 is already created okay so click okay now let's see if it works okay i will select m2 and show configuration okay it works let's see for m4 m6 uh, m8 it will work for any size you create okay m12 okay and you can see that uh, even in uh, our feature tree we have no error everything is perfect here okay uh, let's hide this sketch here okay so uh, this concludes our tutorial on design table and configurations okay but uh, what if you have to create the drawings okay so how will you do that okay so first let's save this part now go to file make drawing from part for now i will select a4 iso okay now for the sheet scale i will select uh, 2 is to 1 okay now select the top view and drag it here okay but it, it looks very small let's see the sheet scale let's make it 4 is to 1 still too small let's make it uh, 5 is to 1 because this is a smaller size m2 that's why it is small let's make it m6 instead okay i will move it to center and uh, now go to uh, view layout section view okay horizontal section select the center here okay and move it downstairs okay downside okay so now we have to create the dimensions i will go to sketch smart dimension and uh, one is our across flat dimension so this is our across flats dimensions okay okay now the thickness here 5 okay the chamfer 30 degree okay uh, what else is left the size okay the pitch now carefully select the end point here like this this is our pitch okay uh, now what about the diameter uh, select this edge and uh, this edge here okay so we have a diameter 5.78 but this is a m6 size so how will i get m6 here so here we have to trick it here you can see that tolerance unit precision okay i will make it none okay you can see that now it is diameter 6 now I will you can see that in dimension text we have mode diam it is the diameter symbol here so I will just replace it with M okay so you can see that uh, we have created everything here using some very basic parameters now let's see if it works for the other sizes okay for example i will make it m12 okay the section line fails because the section line is smaller here let's edit it uh, 
uh, there should be a trim tool and uh, let's make it larger here like this everything else should be fine here okay so you can see that we have created the sketch the drawing successfully with just changing configurations okay it might need need some a, a little adjustment but everything is a here is okay accept this it shouldn't have happened maybe the threads were uh, okay so i should select the lowest one here this was my mistake sorry because the threads are the edges are changing at the top that's why okay so uh, friends this concludes our video tutorial on using design tables to create standard parts using uh, data sheets uh, using configurations in solidworks if you like this video uh, please give me a like and subscribe to our channel to keep receiving more updates thank you for watching this video tutorial and have a nice day